Coming Along's Toys. I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles review for you today. This is Stockman Fly. He looks pretty cool. And if you can see down here, it says Turfloidal's Ultimate Superhero Enemy, which I think is kind of funny because I would say he's on the show much more often than Mikey dressed as Turfloidal. But if you'd like to take a look at his bio, it's right here. So there you go. I like the picture of him over here. On the back here, it does show some other guys in the line. Pretty much most of these we've seen so far. I don't think anything's super new except maybe the uh, mystic outfits for them down here. And then here's Mikey dressed as Turflidal right here. Oh, there actually is the Karai Serpent down here as well. Uh, I'll see if I can focus this a little bit better. There we go. So, I have seen these. I have not seen Turflidal or Karai. I probably would have picked them up. Rock City and Bebop I've already reviewed. I also want to take a second to just kind of talk about the new packaging. Uh, they used to have kind of a mostly purple and some green packaging. The new packaging is kind of cool because they also had the movie line for the movie that just came out. And they've merged both of those toy lines under one new packaging. If it's from the show, it'll have the four turtles in the corner from the show. Or if it's actually an individual turtle, it'll just have that turtle in the corner. If it's from the movie, very similar. It'll have the four turtles from the movie, or if it's an individual turtle, it'll have that turtle from the movie. So the designs are very different, but it kind of, it's nice. It makes it easy when you're at the store, because you can just kind of look along the top corner when they're all on the pegs, and you can kind of know, well, that one's an individual turtle. This one's from the toy line, but it's not a turtle, so maybe I'll check that one, so on and so forth. So I think the new packaging is kind of cool. I dig it a lot. I like the old packaging too, but I definitely do like this new packaging. But anyway, I've talked enough about packaging. Let's get this guy out of the packaging and take a closer look. All right, so here we have Stockman Fly out of the package here. And I really do like the design of him. I love the giant fly head. I think they did a wonderful job with that. He has the giant eyes and the kind of mandibles. And he's got a little tuft of his hair there on the top and also on the back. So I just think they did a really good job with that. As far as the other rest of his design, I do like the color scheme they've gone with here. I kind of like the brown for the fly the blue pants and the purple shirt. Uh, Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint, which I think works pretty well for a head this size. The only, uh, He also has waist articulation, but otherwise, the two shoulders, the two hips, and the wings are all the same kind of joint, where it kind of revolves around and also has a hinge. So that's it for articulation. There's nothing in the elbows or, or wrists. There's nothing in the knee or ankle. It's kind of a bummer. It doesn't really make the figure terrible, but I would have liked to see a little bit more articulation. As you can see here, the wings are kind of a nice translucent green, and of course they can spin all around. I kind of just like to angle them up like this at a 45 degree angle pretty much. I think it looks pretty good. So like I said, I do wish the figure had a little bit more articulation, but overall I think it's pretty well done. I do like the design and I do like the color scheme. He does come with one little accessory, a uh, chocolate bar. I'm going to try to get this guy to stand. There we go. I'll zoom in a little bit to take a look. So as you can see on this side, it kind of says chocolate, and part of the wrapper is rolled back, and he's taking a bite of the bar. On this side, it says L-O-G. I'm not really sure what word that's a part of. I don't know if it was a brand name or something, but he does come with a little chocolate bar, and he can hold it in his hand. So I think that's kind of cool. But overall, like I said, I do think he's a pretty cool figure. I just would have liked to see a little bit more articulation. Plus, his feet are kind of at a weird stance, so with the head and the wings, it makes him a little top-heavy. But as long as you can find a pose, and once you can get him to stand, he will stand, and he looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about this figure. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, the catalog that this figure came with had some pictures of some figures that I haven't really seen many pictures of outside of Toy Fair. So I'm going to take a couple uh, pictures of this catalog and put them on my Twitter. If you'd like to take a look uh, in the bottom of the description at the bottom of this video, there will be a link for my Twitter. So if you want to take a look at those pics, go ahead and check me out on Twitter. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this look at Stockman Fly from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and thanks for watching.